Hello and welcome to another quick episode of Spice Vader today. I've always had a question about what's inside these and what makes them up and I couldn't find too much info about them other than just some generic stuff but I have quite a few different cards here so let's zoom in and take a look at which ones I have here and what we can gather information wise about them. So if you haven't seen the process of how these come out of here, very simple. They just kind of sit in this little cardboard packaging and they all are going to be the same shape with this little USB-C connector. Now this is the USB-C card so there's also a female port on here too but they're all going to be the same, you know, the same shape. This is the 250 gig um, expansion card. So let's take out all of them and I'll lay out each one uniquely here and then we'll take a look at it together. Okay, so here's all the unique cards that I have. I have nine in total, but um, here's the USB-C, USB-A, DisplayPort, HDMI, microSD, and the 250 gig expansion card. Now, as you can see, they all look the same up on top. There's a little bit of a lip where the SD card comes out and hangs out, so it doesn't completely sit flush because then you could never get it out. Let's dig in and pop these open and see what's inside of them. Torx T5 is what takes these apart. So it's just two screws here. And then to get these apart, you just have to push down on them and slide them. There it goes. You'll hear that little, little pop and then it kind of freeze it. There's these two little tab things that kind of hold it in so you can see that it just slides out. All right, so here's the USB-C expansion card. Not much to show in here, just whatever, kind of how it's set up. I'm not like an electrical engineer. I can't tell you what I'm looking at exactly, but that's what it looks like in here. Let's see, is this also a T5? It looks like it is. Let's take out these screws. All right, and here's the underside. It's like some little cushioned protective or cushion backing here. Let's tear apart the rest and see what these look like. Okay, well that was a bit of a chore, but here they are. They're all taken apart. All right, here's the USB-C card, the USB-A card. Here's the DisplayPort card. Down here we have the HDMI card. This one was a chore to get apart. Micro SD expansion and there's my 400 gig SanDisk card. Hint, hint, the uh, SD card there is what I have all of my games loaded on, and they work pretty well Steam Deck style off of that uh, with the 760M graphics that's in here. Stay tuned for the review on that. I'm still working on it. And then finally here, the 250 gig expansion card. I flipped this one over. I partly wanted to see what was in here just in case it was upgradable. Um, but as we can see, it's got like a Fizon chip here that you can't really do anything with unless you had soldering skills and that's not my area of expertise. It's not a M.2 adapter that you could just upgrade the drive readily and easily. This is their solution was to do it this way. And then here's the micro SD. Here's the HDMI. Display port. USB A. And finally, the USB-C once again. This one's basically just a pass-through. So there you have it. These are the expansion cards. There are more. Uh, I think they have a full-size SD card that they're coming out with. That's not out quite yet. There's also the one terabyte version of this, which I wasn't going to spend. I think it's $140 on that. I just am not comfortable spending that much. I got this for $45, bucks, so... That was a lot more reasonable. Now my plans for the future 
are to actually install Linux on here or even hollow ISO, some sort of Steam OS distribution that I can put on here and then run the games off of the SD card and kind of do a Steam Deck type comparison. I love this thing so far. I'm treating it as my everyday main laptop. Don't want to give away too many things. Just stay tuned and there will be more on the Framework laptop. Thanks for watching and God bless.